was whistled for that one, trying to battle inside with Nas Hillman. Leah Brown picking up right where she left off. But this is a team game, and I'm thrilled to have this experience with them. That's what it's all about. Kelly Nolan in the corner puts it in. So that just tells you how efficient she shoots it from range. Had come off the bench the previous four games. As Katiri Poole knocks down another Kateri. jump shot. Well, Matt, going back to what you were saying about what Kim barnes Rico was discussing with us about the chemistry, she said, hey, the seniors, they want more than what they did last year. She knew she had to stay disciplined. A lot of discipline displayed there by Nas Hillman. And she finds an open Leah Brown on the other end, and Brown tees up a triple. Ohio State has been able to knock in some threes on the other side. Michigan shooting 50% from the floor, and it's because of looks like that. Another pin touch and points for Michigan. You have empty possessions. That really makes it tough. You already have the foul trouble. Leah Brown is in her bag. They haven't had that stability on the inside anyway, and that balance. That's, that's the difference this season for Michigan. And she pulls it back out. Mike Sell off the window. Because of the foul issues. Coupled with the short bench, it's left Ohio State without many options. And now here comes Ricky Harris, final two minutes of the third quarter. Sheldon in transition. She buries it. Sheldon in double Sheldon. figures. Maybe trying to exploit the short bench of Ohio State. Five to shoot. And that'll count, and the basket for Stuck. They made their last three buckets. For Sheldon, creating another turnover. Back-to-back -back baskets for J.C. Sheldon. No question, I mean, just under eight rebounds a game for Emily Kaiser, just under 10 points a game as well. Emily Kaiser would not have been tall enough to get on the ride. She's six three, <laughs> and she's hauled well, I was in. Well, kind of talking as a. And she embodies Kim Barnes Arico's saying, "Those that stay will be champions." And I know you love that saying, Christy, because nowadays in college basketball, we don't necessarily see players stick around, and they've done it while shooting the ball exceptionally well. Again. 55% from the floor for the Wolverines today. But that has been the difference. They have just been able to make shots and get the stops necessary to play at the pace that they want. And one of the big things that Kim barnes Rico asked herself after last season ended was, how can we be better than last year? But you want to see evolution mentally. You want to see evolution with confidence and strength and speed. And that's what we're seeing with this Michigan team, ninth in the country for a reason. As complete post-game coverage, it's all tonight on the Big Ten Network. Huge showdown down south for Michigan taking on. The way that Nebraska came out of the gates being undefeated and wow, fancy footwork by Michigan on that one. Well, it was a maze out. Everyone has on the yellow. And uh, Chrysler is definitely rocking. And they are excited about getting a home win. You've got to take care of home in Big Ten play.